Does this work? And so, that's another way to get songs from PC if your phone is far from reach. And by the way, that was WebGTK4 port that will be the default in GNOME 44 and theoretically will make your web apps working much faster. Which reminds me. GNOME 43 brought back the support for the web apps, so we can now again add any web page as a web app. Give it a name, but not an icon, and later we'll find it on our app launcher. Somewhere on the end, maybe? There we go, we got another web, but without a URL entry and a few more things. Time for the movie main event, which is all about a new feature that might not make sense right now, but it could be proved very useful in the future. So now we have our web app installed and all, what if we want to remove it? If we long tap to open the context menu, we won't see any uninstall option whatsoever. Instead, we should go to show details that basically launches the software app and then remove it from there. If you follow GNOME development, you'll know that quite often the design requires extra steps and additional apps for completing simple tasks. <laughs> Sometimes that can get annoying, other times can become confusing, like, how do we even remove apps? Because everyone else has a direct uninstall button from the app launcher. And so, we have this merge request that adds an uninstall command to GNOME software. For instance, if we want to remove a flat pack, we could pass the flat pack ID and the software app will manage everything else. Now, that's very important because of the reason it was introduced. Basically, it was a request from Fast Shell because people were expecting to uninstall apps right from the overview. However, this isn't something we'll get on GNOME 44, and I don't believe this implementation is quite good either. The problem is that the full software app will launch, but what we really need is only the shell to deal with the uninstalled details, especially in case there is something wrong, which is the most usual to happen when GNOME software does things. Meanwhile, there is one more new feature that is a good example how GNOME design requires extra steps. Imagine we're looking for a web browser, and more specifically we're only looking for open source web browsers. So we now have an option to filter open source apps, which is great, but also lame. First, it's very annoying to open this menu just for apply the filter, and second, you may have forgot you have it on, and you may miss apps you actually want to get. But you have nothing to worry about. Not very far from today, all the development and design will move to AI, and everything will be perfect, just like me. <laughs>